Now, Mistake for the Solos, we are doing a check-in on why they didn't choose you. Let's clear our space. If you want to close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Breathing in the breath of God. Dropping in your heart space, calling forward your ancestors, your spirit guides, and angels. Inviting the Holy Spirit to purify your body, mind, and soul. Welcoming Saint Germain and Violet Flame to cleanse out your aura. Inviting Archangel Raphael to send healing. Archangel Michael, putting us in a pillar of God's light shielding and clearing us. From the West, we invite Archangel Gabriel to see your truth, hear your truth, speak your truth. To the North, we invite Archangel Uriel, bringing us, commanding forth our divine light. Archangel Sanofin grounds us to Mother Earth, and Archangel Metatron from above brings us the God, Self, the Christ, Buddha Consciousness. We declare this our sacred space and we are protected on all six corners of the universe and so it is. I feel that this masculine was emotionally unavailable to come forward to you. I feel a lot of pressure in my head so this masculine self-sabotages and overthinks a great deal. For some, they didn't come towards you because of their childhood, the way they were raised, their limiting beliefs. This person could be a fair male, but they came in upside down, so they are immature. You do share a past life with this person. They didn't see themselves, they didn't feel worthy, they didn't feel loved. For some, this person could have been in a third party situation and this person made them feel like a wallflower, is what I'm hearing. This was destined, but they didn't choose you. They've been fighting this connection all along. Here, let's see what else your angels have. Why did this person not <clears throat> come forward and choose them? You are your person's wish fulfillment. They were more focused on financial security. Their heart was very guarded. They withheld their love and their emotions, and they weren't able to express their love towards you. For some of you, this person was juggling you and another person. They could have been juggling work. They could have been juggling karma, finances. This person does have a great deal of love for you. This person allowed their ego to interfere. And when they thought that they were listening to their intuition, they were actually listening to their ego. And their ego was telling them to run. This person comes in with a very authoritative energy, very aggressive, very controlling, passive aggressive. They are coming out of a lack of foresight. So they couldn't see the vision. They couldn't see the long-term commitment with you. They view this now as a missed opportunity. They were very unstable and consistent, gave you the silent treatment, always in and out. I feel like this person judged your journey. For some, this person could have judged how you dressed. They judged your work, what you did for a living. I feel like this masculine was very methodical, very analytical. 
was very vile with words and could have spoken down to you. There was, for some, there's a huge difference in classes, so this person thought that they were better than you. This person spoke very well. Could have been a writer, a poet, read a lot of books, spent a great time on their education and making themselves feel worthy. But this person self-sabotaged and I feel became a little vengeful, maybe even jealous of you and your energy. They're always in mental control and emotional conflict. You are your person's happy family. But they're very conflicted. They're always doubting. And I feel that they would have had to come in to be very raw and vulnerable with you. And this person wasn't ready. Why else was this person not able to come forward? Why did they choose our viewer? This person, addictions are affecting this relationship. And you have a spiritual lesson from a past lifetime. So I feel that this person is not learning the lessons. The reason they didn't choose you is this person is unable to give you all you deserve. They are emotionally, mentally, physically unavailable to come forward. This person has regret. They have a great deal of remorse for not being able to come forward. These are messages of love by All Things Intuitive. I forgot to mention. Right now, you and this person are on two different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. So... You could be on two different timelines where you, viewer, are ascended, more awakened. You're on the 5D. Your person is in the 3D with work, with unhealthy people, toxic relationships. Your soulmate is being called in because your person cannot come forward. And I feel that when your soulmate comes in, your person is going to want a second chance. The timing just wasn't right. I feel that your person didn't dedicate the time to this relationship for some because they were more dedicated to, to work to the third party. They didn't really work on this relationship. They are coming from victim consciousness where they do blame others. I feel like this person had a very difficult childhood and always is coming from the victim. They are being divinely guided by their angels. Yeah, addictions were very this is a second card for addictions. I feel that the universe is trying to put your person back on track, but your person uses these addictions to numb the pain. They're trying to get on the right path. What else? Angels? Yeah, they need to have more fun. They're going through a major transformation and rebirth. They're still coming in as 3D, unconscious, sleeping. I feel like this person is extremely intelligent, extremely intuitive, but they slide off the matrix off the 5D and go back to the 3D. 
they may astral travel to you. This is my deck, Soul Growth Journey Tribe, in case anyone's asking. Okay, let's see what else. Try to keep this 15 minutes. What else? Why was this person not able to choose the door? This person didn't have the strength. It was a lot of work to put into this union. They were more focused on their abundance on themselves than the union. You both have a soul contract. It is destined, but I feel that your person just fights it. They were listening to their ego. Being childish, still needing inner child healing. They chose success over you. Why else could they not choose you? Thank you, angels. I feel like your person has trust issues and they're not happy with themselves. Spiritual connection came in upside down, so your person could have gone off their journey. They're carrying a great deal of baggage, and they're going through a discovery period to find themselves. Angels. Why else could this masculine not come forward? They want to work it out, but there's a great deal of worry. I feel this person still needs to forgive themselves. Your person finds you very sensual, very attractive. I feel that this person leads with lust instead of love. Their ego is protecting their wounded inner child. They do have remorse for how badly they treated you. They do what they do to numb the pain. They wear emotional armor and you got too close too fast. I feel the last conversation that you had, your person is being haunted by your words. Your words have power over your person. They have trust issues. They do enable people. They're envious at you, of you at times because you know who you are. I'm afraid my love may be too much. They're afraid to love you. They think it's over. I feel like they keep telling themselves it's over. And I'm getting a lot of pressure in my headspace. This masculine. It's easier for this masculine to walk away than to come forward to speak their truth. I'm afraid our spark may be too much and I may lose myself. So really, the intensity of this connection scares this person because they would have to be raw and vulnerable. You would then be able to hurt them. They're in denial. I care too much about status. So this masculine is worried about... There could be an age difference or race, class. There's a big difference between you both, and your person is more concerned about how other people see him. 
or see you both. For some trigger warning, this person I feel is a little racist. So you or his family is a little racist. So you could be different ethnicities. This is my new deck, Divine Masculine's Untold Truths, Volume 2. All right. Why did this masculine not choose my Whoa. When you can't see me, feel me in your heart. So... I feel like it's safer for your person to hide their emotions from you right now. They're not giving you a chance. They're not giving this relationship a chance right now. They do see signs of you everywhere. And your person is still with a third party situation. It's not easy for me to leave them. So whether they are in a karmic situation They're with someone energetically or in the 3T. I'm too intimidated by you. I keep looking for you and others. So I feel like this person tried to replace you and looks for you, looks for your replacement. Nobody understands the soul connection that I have with you. You haunt my darkness every night. They want to snuggle on a rainy day. They're eternally tethered to your soul. I just feel like this person, well, one, if this person is in a third party situation, they have not set very healthy boundaries to leave the third party. They've not learned the soul lessons yet. Okay. What else, angels? This person is just haunted by you. Dreams about you. He's very guarded. He's guarded around love. I feel like this person is very stubborn and really focused on the material world could be going through a tower moment right now where the universe is trying to guide them back to their feminine but this masculine is very stubborn not coming forward they don't love themselves enough with the page of cups upside down and they're really in their headspace what's challenging them right now is judgment they're judging themselves. They know they have to make a choice. They need to restore balance in their life and let go of the past. Restore balance. Again, they're watching you from afar. And this masculine needs to learn how to love themselves. I feel this masculine gave love too freely, confused love and lust. It was on a search. Almost like he was trying to fill this self-love cup with everybody else. He feels very lost, just very, he knows that this union is faded, but he still wasn't able to choose you. Right, let's see what else. Your person does want to communicate, but I feel like they don't even know how. They text and erase constantly. I feel like this person 
during eclipse season was it was really difficult for them not to come forward. They're in limbo as to how to come back. I broke my heart when I broke yours. So when your person causes you pain, they're causing themselves pain because they are the other half of you as well. We have unfinished business. I'll be back. So I feel like this person is wanting to come forward. I tried to replace you, but I still want you. So for some, this person could have chose a blonde. Like chose lust over you. I was listening to the wrong people. I feel that this masculine either allowed this karmic to control him or was allowed to do whatever he wanted with this karmic. And I feel, prominence that you really would call your person out. I became addicted to power control and I couldn't let go. You ignited that spark that was dormant for so long. You and I, you are the one I'm going to marry someday. It came in upside down. I'm moving towards you, but it's an astronaut. I'm wondering what you're doing right now. So I feel like for some of these masculines, they had a great deal of options. They were on the hunt to get over you, feminine. I feel like, again, this masculine just, the energy was just too intense and it was easier for them to walk away. Okay, let's get some. This is, oh, this was my Divine Masculine Oracles. And this is my Romance Angels Guidance. Okay, let's get this and close out. <clears throat> All right, so your person is now healing from emotional wounds and traumas from the past. They're going through the dark night of soul. A dark night of soul is a dark place where you feel your world has collapsed. You've lost meaning of life, spiraling into a dark depression as you shed illusions. <clears throat> Excuse me, only to rebirth as a phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel like this masculine, <clears throat> excuse me, wasn't speaking their truth. They... You might have rejected them, feminine, which triggered an abandonment wound. Or this masculine could be very afraid of getting rejected. There's a fear of getting rejected. This person is running from love. Ask your angels to send them, to send their inner child love. Also, loving thoughts to their higher self. They're in a karmic loop. They are trapped in another karmic pattern, refusing to learn from the repeating life experiences and choosing to go back into fear instead of spiritual growth. They need to learn the lesson and to let go. So I hope this helps. Please don't take your person's journey personal. This journey is about them. These are soul lessons that they have to learn. This is karma. Whatever karma they have done against you, they are now receiving their karma from the universe. We don't wish karma on anybody. We hold space. We send love and light. So your person needs to come forward in divine timing. This can't be rushed. But they have to be... I feel this masculine is also afraid to be by themselves. So they prefer having woman around them just to not so much to keep them company but I feel like this person this masculine could have a group of women and they may call this person for emotional support this one for spiritual this one for intimacy this way this person this masculine doesn't have to commit 
because they have a deep fear of intimacy, either from their childhood, their parents, or they were in a long committed relationship. So they're afraid to get married. They're afraid to have to open up again. So please keep holding space. Please keep doing your journey. Keep moving forward. Don't wait for your person. The best thing you can do is during eclipse season is to keep moving forward. Um, change is coming. New beginnings are coming. You may feel exhausted, restless with this eclipse season. Take naps. Do whatever you have to. Meditate. Take care of you. Self-love is taking care of yourself. And take the focus off your person, especially if they're in a third-party situation. The best thing you can do is heal yourself. So I hope this helps. If you want to, I am open for private readings. The only way to book is at um, soniaaleskis.com. Um, you can find me at the Infinity Foundation this Saturday for a meditation a med meditation a thon. Um, I think it's infinityfoundation.org. I will try to post the link in the space below. I'm sending you guys so much love. Namaste. Bye, everyone.